Hey everyone, welcome back to Monster Hunter Portable 3rd. I'm set up ready the gun here, so we are going to continue. And wait. Okay, no, that was the same. I don't know why that threw me off. We're going to go to the uh, volcano. And I'm going to... I probably won't need these. Um, but I'm going to bring some cold drinks with me just to be on the safe side. Because I know I'm going to get some in the box, but on the uh, on the off chance that uh, things go horribly wrong. <laughs> um, I am also going to forget dung bombs, so I'm going to go grab some dung bombs. Because I do not want to be taking on... Uh, I don't want to be taking on two Urgons at once gunning. I don't care if I'm in high rank armor and they're low rank monsters. Uh, I just don't want to deal with that headache. <laughs> so let's go hunt us a couple of uh, a couple of roly polies. <laughs> oh my god. I don't need those drinks, hella shots, what the hell, and what the hell. Alright, so once again, starting off with water shots, because water shots are, uh, are his big weakness. Water, Dragon, and I believe Ice, I want to say, are his big weaknesses. Water being the best, Dragon and Ice, I think, being fairly tied. Uh, I think Ice is it. I don't think it's Thunder. I think it is, in fact, Ice. Or at least I hope it is, because I brought free shots with me. <laughs> and, uh... I also don't want to spread misinformation. But I'm, I'm, pre I'm pretty sure Ice is the secondary weakness, but... Dragon definitely is the secondary. Of course you would just walk into me. Why would you not? You're gonna... Okay then. Let's do this then. That was kind of confusing. I don't know why I thought I had five shots. I almost shot a fifth one. Ha! Well, the, uh, the double uh, hop did not help me there. Oh, this is a bad idea. Never mind. I was good enough distance. I'd also very much like this affinity of mine to proc more often. Nope. Nope. Fine then. Did I just break his chin? I I just broke his chin. Any Metroid fans in the watching right now? Does this guy's uh, roars and and whatnot there and, and moans and whatnot do they not sound like fan? Uh, whoa, like Phantom from Super Metroid? Because I can't not hear that. Oh, he's doing this. Now this is definitely I've, I've we've seen this before, but this is an easy thing to dodge. All you need to do is get over to the end, to the edge, and it doesn't matter so long as you're right around here, or even this part on the other side. He can't hit you. He will not hit you. Despite the fact that 
the ability or that uh, that attack is actually fairly easy to dodge. Like you can see him coming a mile away. He does the same pattern. He doesn't change if you're actually in there. He just rolls around the area in that pattern. The only thing that differs is which side it goes down first. But uh, I'm gonna get hit. Yep. But that's a pretty easy attack to avoid. I'm going to switch over to freeze now because I want to save some water for the other one. Alright, perfect. Perfect use of the roar animation. I just reloaded the moment before he roared, so we cut off my reload animation, and I have plenty of time to recover before he actually does anything. So it was uh, a safe, uh, it was a safe reload. And I'm going to go finish off this other one because there's no point in uh, in fighting this guy when this guy is probably somewhat close to uh, to being done. I'm standing in fire. Let's not stand on the hot ledge. Oh. I was not expecting him to uh, to turn there. I was expecting him to just go straight. Clearly, I was wrong. Oh. And that's why I switched to uh to freeze. Oh, he's going to Oh, that's right. He sleeps in there. All right, I need to get rid of the other one. That's the one I want to keep in here. Ah! Went the wrong way. Alright. Ow. Alright. Uragon, can you leave? Can you please leave? Not through me. Ah, God damn it. All right, I can't see anything anymore. Oh. How? How did he not hit me? <laughs> not complaining. Just did not expect that to actually work out for me. I love how it's just that one single shot, and he goes down. All right, so the other one's in five. We'll uh, we'll go back after him in a moment. I I didn't think of it. I didn't even bother to check. I wonder if this uh, gun can use uh, sleep shots. I say that now because I have bombs, but I didn't realize I was going to have bombs. So I guess it doesn't make much of a difference. Oh, thank you, cat. It's always helpful when they use the healing horn, uh, especially when you need it. I don't want to be in this hallway. And that would be why. Nope. 
All right, my last four shots. And then I'm gonna switch back to water. Oh boy. Turn around. Oh. Come on. Okay, that's not how I wanted you to get closer. Ow. Should have seen that coming. Okay, can you stop rolling? Oh my god, Uragon, please stop going into the lava. That's right, that's what you get. he leaves although he is hungry so I'm not surprised although he doesn't eat in here as far as I know so why did why he came in here I don't know okay come on please Aragon stop stop just standing in the uh, in the corner thank you I don't think that was a good angle to shoot at this one, however. Iraktor, go away. Oh. Okay. That actually worked nicely. Oh yeah, that's right. The downside to pierce ones is they really only hit twice, I think. Ah, oh, your rock doors. Nope. I am very surprised on how little range that uh, that chin attack has, that slam, because it has a significantly larger range in Monster Hunter World, and I also feel like it had a, a bigger range in Generations as well, like that feels very close range to what I remember. Maybe that's something they modified in 3 Ultimate onwards. Took that right to the face. All right, you stop moving. Good boy. Nope. Oh no. Ah. Good. 
Good on you, Yurgon. Literally went the exact way I was trying to go. Cut me off. So, one again, when it comes down to shooting this guy, I'm not entirely sure what the best place to shoot him is, is per se. But, like, oh good, he's limping. Like other uh, brute wyverns and all that, I would assume probably his arms. I know his his head becomes a weak point after you break his chin, which is why I was aiming for it so frequently. It's one of the easiest places to hit. Ow. Did not time that well. Mistake. Should not have shot. Thank you, cat. I like how the other Urgon is just lying there. Still. Oh, he cried? Was not expecting that. Lava Nugget. Where am I? Okay, this is where I am. Was kind of anticlimactic. But there goes two Ergons down. Okay, well. Uh, I'm looking at the time right now. I got time for one more. It won't be another double quest. But I think we're going to go take on, uh, take down the Tigrex that's there because why not? <laughs> Grab my uh, Zenogra switch axe and take down the Tigrex. Of course, I got a quest complete. Amazing. Actually, I like the marrow and the jaws. Although I don't think I'm I need any of his parts for anything. Well, I'm going to take care of the farm stuff off camera, and I will see you back for a Tigrex hunt. Catch you then. Well, alright. Now that's all taken care of. Switched over once again. Switch axe. And we're going to go hunt down a Tigrex here. And the good old Tundra. Yay! <laughs> Oh, man. It's actually one thing that I do like about this game in particular here, uh, Portable 3rd. It's the only 3rd gen game that has all... Th uh, Nar has Nargokuga... Uh, uh, oh my god, Baryoth and Tigrex in it. All three monsters have that style of, uh, of skeleton, that monster type, essentially. And they're not all three in any other game. Um, with the exception, actually, of, of Generations Ultimate, which... 
uh, did actually add Barry off to it. So it's actually pretty cool. It's a nice little detail. And I don't remember where Tigrex likes to hang out. I think he hangs out in uh, in two over here. So. Yes, yes he does. This is kind of a big Tigrex. Kind of a big Tigrex. Yeah, there was no getting away from that. Not from that position. Well, rage number one. Uh, Popo, leave. Just, just leave. You're, you're just going to get in the way. Get out. Just go. Go. Uh, I told you to leave. <laughs> that is why you leave. Well, that was handy. Good. That didn't hit me. Hitboxes. Ah, okay. I don't know how that just wind sheared me and not hit me, but sure. I'll take it. Camera. Oh. I am still used to high rank. Ow. <laughs> I'm still very much used to high rank. And so much for that song, Cat. Uh, don't charge me. This was not smart. Thank you, Tigrex. Thank you for being more interested in my cat than me carving your tail. I appreciate it. I do. And I have bad positioning once again. Because why would I have good positioning? Like that. That was actually good positioning. Never mind. And once again, I can't hit anything. <laughs> comes the rage. Well, Fango. Oh boy. Yep, I'm in a very bad place. There's literally nowhere for me to go. How did that not hit me? Nope. Okay. I'll take that. That made sense, at least. No, Bullfango. Thank you, Bullfango. I actually would prefer to hit by you than Tigrex. Ah, uh, I was hoping that would flinch him again. Ah, that's gonna hurt. Ish. I keep overestimating how uh, how powerful these guys are because I keep forgetting they're low rank. I'm not used to low rank. I'm used to high rank. Going to three. He's going to three. Oh, down he is already. That was actually stupid of me. I should have waited for him to start eating first. I had a bigger opening, a much bigger opening. Oh, this is. Okay, good. I was outside of the damage range and inside the stagger range. Because Tyrex, Tyrex's roar 
it is an attack, but uh, its range is very short. And how did he not hit me? And the damage range on it is even shorter. All the, although the damage, uh, the hitbox on the roar versus, like damage-wise versus just stun-wise, is uh, very small. There is a very small window between where you can just get stunned by this roar and actually get hurt by it. So uh, it's kind of lucky that's where I was standing, but at the same time, it's not like he actually does lots of damage. Yep, of course. Of course. That was not a good time to use that, clearly. Or that. Ugh. This is the thing that I do not like about Tigrex, is just when he gets angry, he never stops moving. Uh, I, 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 uh, I disagree, game. That upswing of that, my up slash there should have caught him in the air. Oh, he's limping. I thought he was gonna just, like, jump. I don't even remember where Tigrex sleeps in this on this map. I, I don't think it's here. I think this is a stop on the way, but like I don't even remember. No Banabra. No Banabra. I think it's weird that I'm getting ice or earth crystals in the tundra. Should I not be getting ice crystals instead? Oh. Watch him have, like, one more hit. Watch him have one more hit now. Ha! <laughs> and yes, that kick does actually do dam- Does actually do damage. How- How funny would it have been if I actually just went up and kicked him and he died there? I'm a little disappointed that's not what happened, but the amount of time it would have taken to actually kick him to death at that point probably could have been pretty, pretty large. Well, that is another Tigrex down. Oh, okay, I was, I was supposed to say that I miscount my carves, like, how do I have another, an another carve there? But no, I was on a bone pile, that makes sense. And in fact, if you are looking for uh, dragon bone relics, uh, if you're in the high rank uh, tundra, uh, these bone spots here are actually a uh, fairly reliable source of them. I don't want to say it's a great place for them, but you can get them there. I've gotten a few there. And what do we get here? Sure. Yeah, I don't have a lot of Tigrex stuff, why not? Uh, actually, I got quite a few claws from this, holy crap. Well, that is... and a scalp! That's his low rank rare, nice. So that is going to bring us to a close for tonight. Thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed. And hopefully you'll come back next time for... more hunting, probably another Durambaros, and who knows what else. So until then, take care, you hear?